Common Fractions Part 5 Multiplication of Fractions Question 1 Let 1 times 2 is 2 Therefore, a half times 2 is 1 Another way of looking at this is that a half of 2 is 1 Let's look at B 1 4 or 1 times 4 is 4 Therefore, a half of 4, or a half times 4, is 2. Pause the video to complete question 1 by yourself. Question 2. 1 times 6 is 6, because 1 6 is 6. Therefore, a half times 6 is a half of 6, which is 3. A third times 6 is a third of 6, which is 2, because 6 divided by 3 is 2. Let's look at C. 1 15 is 15. A third times 15 is 5, because 15 divided by 3 is 5. Then 2 thirds of 15, or 2 thirds times 15, 15 divided by 3, is 5 times 2 is 10. Press pause to complete question 2 by yourself. Question 3. 1 to 3 is 3. A half times 3 is 3 over 2 or 1 and a half. A third times 3 is 3 over 3 or one whole. Question B. 1 5 is 5. A half times 5. The 5 goes to the top, it's over 2, so it's 5 over 2. Or, as a mixed number, is 2 and a half. 1 fifth times 5 will be 5 over 5, or one whole. Press pause to complete question 3 by yourself. Question 4. 1 times a half is a half. A half of a half, or a half times a half, is a quarter. What we do is 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. We multiply our numerators, and we multiply our denominators. A third times a half, 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 2 is 6. Let's do B together. 1 times a third is a third. A half of a third is a sixth, because 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. And a third times a third is 1 ninth. Press pause to complete the question by yourself. Question 5. A half times a quarter, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 4 is 8, it's 1 eighth. A half times 3 quarters, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 4 is 8. And lastly, 3 quarters times a half is also 3 eighths. Press pause to complete question 5. 6. A half times a fifth, we multiply out to get one tenth. A half times two fifths, one times two is two, and two times five is ten. Our answer is not in its simplest form, however, because two tenths is equal to one fifth. Therefore, when we multiply fractions, we always simplify our fraction in the sum before multiplying out. We can see here it's one half times two fifths. We divide the top two and the bottom two by the same number by two. Two divided by two is one and two divided by two is one. We've simplified our fractions in the sum. Then one times one is one and one times five is five. Let's do B together. 
a half times a third, we cannot simplify in the question, so we multiply out, and it's one sixth. A half times two thirds, we can simplify in our question. We can divide top and bottom by two to simplify our twos. Two divided by two is one, two divided by two is one. Then we multiply out, and our answer is one third in its simplest form. Lastly, let's look at C together. A quarter times two fifths, we can simplify in our question. Two and four is, are both divisible by two. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. Then we multiply out. One times one is one, and two times five is ten. Press pause to complete up to question D by yourself. Question E. We have two thirds times three quarters. We must simplify in our question until we can't anymore. Three and three, we would divide top and bottom by three and we get one and one. Then two and four, two divided by two is one, four divided by two is two. Then when we multiply out, our answer is one half in its simplest form. Let's look at G. We can divide 5 and 10 both by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 6 and 9, we can divide top and bottom by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then we multiply out. The top we get 3 and 2 times 2 is 4. Press pause to complete up to question H by yourself. Question 7. 2 thirds times 3 quarters times 4 fifths. We divide top and bottom there by 3 to get 1 and 1. We are not done yet. We have a 4 and a 4 that we can also divide top and bottom by to get 1 and 1. Then when we multiply through, we are left with 2 over 5. Press pause to complete this question by yourself. Worksheet 2 Word Sums Tempo drinks half a litre of milk every day. How many litres of milk does he drink in 5 days? We have a half times 5, which is 5 over 2, which becomes 2.5 litres. Press pause to complete up to question 5 by yourself. Question 5. Paul and Sarah share a chocolate slab equally. Therefore, each gets one half of the slab. Sarah eats two fifths of her piece, which is one half. What fraction of the chocolate did she eat? Paul and Sarah each get a half of the slab. Sarah eats two-fifths of her piece. Remember, of means times. Then we write out our sum. We divide top and bottom by two to get a final answer of one-fifth. Pause the video to complete six and seven by yourself. Worksheet three. A farmer sold three-eighths of his sheep. He then sold a half of the remainder. What fraction of the original flock did he sell altogether? If he sold three-eighths of his sheep, he has five-eighths of his sheep that remain. Because one whole minus three-eighths is five-eighths. He then sold a half of the remainder. So five-eighths times a half. We cannot simplify in our question, so we multiply out to get 5 sixteenths. He therefore sold 5 sixteenths of his sheep the second time. So he sold 3 eighths of his sheep and then 5 sixteenths. So to answer the question, what fraction of the original flock did he sell all together? We have 3 eighths plus 5 sixteenths. We write them as equivalent fractions. And our final answer is 11 sixteenths. Press pause to complete this entire page by yourself. 
Worksheet 4 Multiplication of Mixed Numbers Always change mixed numbers into improper fractions before multiplying. Therefore, 1 and a half times a third, 1 and a half is 3 halves as an improper fraction, times a third, we can divide top and bottom by 3. And when we multiply out, our final answer is a half. Let's look at B. 1 and a third. It's 4 thirds as an improper fraction. Times 1 quarter. Divide top and bottom by 4. And the final answer is 1 third. Press pause to complete question 1. Question 2. We have two mixed numbers, so we must rewrite both of them as improper fractions as shown. Then we simplify in the question, divide top and bottom by 3. Then we divide top and bottom by 2. And we're left with 2 over 1 or 2 wholes as the final answer. Let's look at C. Let's do it together. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2, so we have 8 thirds times 1 and 1 quarter is 5 quarters as an improper fraction. Then we simplify in our question. We can divide 8 by 4, which is 2, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. We multiply out. 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 1 is 3. Our answer is an improper fraction, so we rewrite it as 3 wholes and 1 third as a mixed number. Press pause to complete question 2. Question 3. We have 3 fractions now. We rewrite 1 and 2 thirds as an improper fraction first. Don't write it above it. Rewrite the whole sum so that you can simplify nicely in your sum. We rewrite the rest, then we can divide 3 and 3 by 3, 5 and 5 we divide, top and bottom, and lastly 4 and 4. So we are left with one whole. Press pause to complete question 3. Worksheet 5. Tembo runs 1.5 kilometers every day. How far does he run in 3 days? One and a half times three. We rewrite one and a half as three over two. To make it easier, we say three is three over one. We cannot simplify in our question. We cannot divide three and three by three because they are both at the top. We multiply out. Three times three is nine. Two times one is two. So as a mixed number, it's four and a half. Therefore, he runs four and a half kilometers in three days. Press pause to complete this entire page by yourself. Worksheet 6. Multiple operations. Remember, always leave addition and subtraction right until the end. In this first sum, a half plus a half times two thirds, we must leave the addition till the end. So, we write down our half plus and leave it for now. In our multiplication sum, we simplify in our question. We can divide top and bottom by 2 there. So when we multiply out, we get a third. Then a half plus a third, we need to find our lowest common denominator, which is sixths. A half is three sixths. A third is two sixths. So the final answer is 5 sixths. Let's look at B. A third plus, we're going to leave the addition till the end. Then we have 1 and a half times 2 thirds. 1 and a half, we must first change to an improper fraction, which is 3 over 2 times 2 over 3. For the multiplication, we can simplify there. And we simplify by dividing the threes. So we are left with one third plus a whole, which is the answer to the multiplication. So the final answer is one and one third. Press pause to complete question one. 
Question 2. Use what you have learned to complete this question by yourself. Remember, leave addition and subtraction right till the end. And also remember, when you multiply mixed numbers, always change them to improper fractions first. Question 3. We are always going to leave a plus and minus right till the end. So we're going to do that and that and keep that. So let's begin. We can simplify in our sum. Divide top and bottom by 3. Then we can divide top and bottom by 2. So when we multiply out, we're going to get 1 half plus, leave it for now, a half of 12 is 6. And finally, we must minus a third. Now we only have plus and minus, so we are going to do it from left to right. A half plus 6 is 6 and a half minus a third. Now we must get our lowest common denominator to minus. So it's 6 and 3 over 6 minus 2 sixths. And the final answer is 6 and 1 sixth. Press pause to complete question 3 by yourself.